They're a bit sickly, but they are nice. Yeah, they are. Go on then. Yeah, so I'll get a ham and you'll get the Werther's. Yeah, I'll get the Werther's. So I practice yoga, but this is extend bar. I need a pair of socks. I've got no makeup on, but never mind. And the thing is, it's right underneath where I live. So instead of walking the other side of Marylebone, if I come here a couple of times a week, I just get out of bed, come downstairs, and it's here. And it's like valet versus yoga, stretching. Is it? So that's it, 55 minutes later and it's done. And I think that's what I love about it. I couldn't film in there because I don't know them like I know my yoga studio. Um, but what I was trying to say is it's a mixture of yoga and Pilates. And it's all over in 55 minutes. And, uh, Everyone else is just going to work. Thank you. And I've done it. I've done my class. I live upstairs. And I feel a traitor to my yoga centre. But there's a lot of ballet. Oh, blimey, they're cleaning the roads. And I'm out of breath. It's quite aerobic. And look at the time. So one hour. One hour and it's all over. I want to ask your opinion on something. I've signed up for another six months to stay in this flat. And, um, excuse the mess, because I've literally only just got up, haven't even had my shower yet, just my exercise. But I want to do something with this. Now that is obviously the skylight. And it's the reason I love this flat, because I feel like I'm underground, but I'm on the top floor. And I, it needs cleaning, but I can't get to it. But I also think I should make a feature of it. And I was thinking of putting red lights in those lights. So at night, it looks red, which could be sending out the wrong message. But I think it would be rather good, don't you? Anyway, let's see if Matilda's missed me. Hello, Matilda. Matilda, I'm back. I'm back. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful day. It is beautiful. I feel really guilty because that's what Matilda does to my mum's lawn. And uh, it's a shame because this is such a beautiful garden. I've just got down here. I come down most Saturdays and look how beautiful it is. Look at this tree. I absolutely love it. These were my granddad's primroses from Horsebrook, um, which is the place I often go to and sit and lust over. Um, and this was from Horsebrook. Matilda loves it here. She really does. But she's just standing here. She wants her breakfast. Do you want your breakfast? Is that what you want? Yes, come on then. Come on then, in we go. I'm in Sainsbury's and um, I'm here with my mum and I knew I'd lost her and I knew I'd find her at the cake counter. Chocolate. Silly old camera. The chocolate ones. Yeah, um, and reckon they had lunch, they have sponge or something. Isn't that who made malt loaf? 
does it say? I'd see how my cataracts are. Uh, hang on. I need to have a proper look. Well, I thought they were little individual things. Malt loaves. Because I've got those chocolate that are sweet. Yes, I think they are little individual malt loaves. Yeah. Oh, what would I choose? If I wasn't always in oh. denial, I would have... Yeah, here. Here. What? It says here. What? And it says five malt... Malt lunch box loaves, so it must be the little ones. They were nice, weren't they? I used to love malt loaves. Yeah, but look, there's there five small ones to go into a, a box. See, that'd be good. Ferrets. And what else? My mother has she sort of ferrets this stuff away. I put my glasses on because I've got no makeup in her walker. What else have you got in there? Oh, um, did, are you going? Did you get ham? No, I don't need to do. Oh yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. She likes to talk to the man my, on the deli my counter. Word, my Worthers, the old I'll get the, Worthers. I'll go and get and the, the old ladies Worthers. And the um, the chocolate. What's the? Oh, whispers. Yeah. Now I'll go and get the ham. Okay. Yeah. I think they're a bit sickly, but they are nice. Yeah, they are. Go on then. Yes, yeah, so I'll get a ham, and you'll get the Worthers. Yeah, I'll get the Worthers. Bit of a dilemma, there's no Werther's Originals, so um, I don't know what to do. That's going to really throw us off. Now I've lost her. This is a dilemma. I'm trying to find her in all these trolleys. So sorry. God, sorry. It looks like I'm getting this camera. I don't think Horsham likes vloggers. Ah! It looks good, kill. When you vlog in London, no one notices. If you vlog in Horsham, I'm getting the dirtiest look ever. Have a look. I don't know where she is. There she is. I knew she would. Mutti! <laughs> they don't have the original Worthers. Oh, well, I'll go without them. You oh, are you sure? Else. Fantastic. So this is what we do every Saturday. Do you need a hand? Do you need a hand? Busy today. Yeah. I've got the chair with a bit of arm today. Yeah, this is good. Yes. Just filming my mother. <laughs> See, she was nice. Got my seat. Yeah. She always does that. Yeah. Come on, Tilda, in the back. In the back. In the back. In the back. Good Are you girl. Filming her getting up there. Yes. Right. Load the car. It's going to rain. I hope that bit comes out. Her sit on the seat and then go the back. Yes. Matilda, you're meant to be at the back. No, she's all right. Matilda. You're meant to be on the back. She won't look at me. Till, come on. Um, see, she yawns to pretend she can't. <laughs> Matilda, back seat. Back seat with the shopping. Gosh, it's going to pour with rain. It's going to be really wet and windy. Get home, I think. Oh, we're going to the farm shop next. Here we are, getting ready for a pre-rec. There's Gapreet. Hi. And there's George. Where's the George? Oh, the guests are down. There he is. Hello. Everyone's Hi. been asking, where have you oh, been? I don't look summer at all. Oh, gosh. See, this is what we do, Anna. I know. Anna's here for a pre-rec. I watch the vlog every week. Yes, you do. I do, actually. He didn't hug us. No, I've already had my hug, though, in the what, lift. What, from George? Yes, we were in the lift together. He hasn't together. hugged me. Oh, you where's, where's George? <laughs> where's the hug? Where's... <laughs> He's serious today, but I thought he looked awfully fresh. Yes, everyone looks nice because it's quite sunny. Summery. It looks lovely. So, um, so is Pete Wicks coming in? Yes, oh, he's good. coming in from... Uh, uh, you've never watched The Only Way Is Essex. No, but I have met Pete Wicks. And when? He looked, um, at the Wet Nose Awards that you weren't at last March, and I took Mr Binks. That's not her boyfriend. No, he is my English toy terrier, mm -hmm. and he was the only dog in the room. George, shush. George is talking us through the intercom. <laughs> it's rude to talk over what people. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? <laughs> right, we better, we're going to get into trouble, Anna. We're meant to be concentrating. I don't even know what Pete Wicks is coming in for. It's to talk about possibly if br uh, passports get uh, banned after Brexit. Did you hear that, everybody? Um, Passport being banned. Yes, which I don't think is going to happen. I think what will probably happen is the passports will revert to how they were in 2012 before we merged with Europe. I have to end it there because Anna will go on and on. <laughs> She's wearing what we wore on Titchmarsh. You'll yes. see me wearing one of these. Yes, this is um, a leather Marlene Berger top with a satin back and I love it and it's got pockets. Where Hold this and I'll show everyone what I'm wearing. Okay. I'm wearing a Paul Smith dress. It's lovely, Joe. The lining. Oh, absolutely love the lining. I just wear the lining. I know. Well, the lining's attached, Anna. <laughs> Duh. And here he is. Hello, ladies. Hello, hello. 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 Oh, hello. you don't mind Come this, do you? Not at all. God, you, you are. will. So gorgeous. Very, very much. Yeah, I'm allowed, allowed to say that. Yeah. See, we're of an age well, we can say that, Pete. BBC, so it's a shame. Mr. Binks so loved meeting you at the I know. Well, yeah. I, I, I keep seeing all these pictures. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Binks. Mr. Mr. Binks, who's her dog, not her boyfriend. I'm going to turn this off. Um, Pete, lovely to see you. Turn this lovely off. To see and you. you need to follow him on social media. What are all your handles? It is for Instagram and Twitter. It's P underscore Wix zero one. Hurrah! Thank you. So my thanks to Pete Wicks and don't forget um, that you can listen to that interview on BBC Sounds. Now, before I go, I just want to trail ahead to um, somebody that I interviewed during the week for my Middle Age Minx Meets. This is someone who went to the same drama school as me. She is Sarah Douglas. She went on to much fame uh, in Hollywood. She played Ursa in Superman. She was in Falcon Crest. She's in so many television series and movies. And I interviewed her at Tramp, and that will go out on, um, I think in a couple of weeks time. But here's a little taster. This is of us, um, well, it's an outtake of the interview. Uh, we recorded it in Tramp. Um, if you want to see the whole thing, you need to subscribe because I will notify you when the whole interview goes up. She's not often in London, so it was a real treat. And don't forget, keep sending in your walking women. They come at the end. So here we go. This is Sarah Douglas. This is an outtake of um, our interview at Tramp. Have a great week. See you next Sunday. Bye. In Hollywood, about two months ago, I said, a friend of mine said, what, what, uh, what are you doing? And I said, what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. And I said to her, so, so what, have, I said, uh, what have you done recently? And she looked at me and she said, I've had my butt lifted. Mm. And I said, no, what work are you doing? Mm. Not what work what have you that's, had. That's what they're thinking. Cheers. Cheers. Love her. Here's Love to Rose Bruford. I'm a fellow, she's not. And Tramp. Thank you, Tramp. Thank you, Tramp. Gosh, I remember that. Now show me where you fell over. I'm walking. Here's the thing, I'm talking. But you and me, I'm